in this video, I'm gonna show you the best graphic design software you can use in 2021. So for me, I'm a graphic designer on the full time. So I'm always using the best possible programs that you can use for doing design and branding and logos and all that fun stuff. For me personally, I use the Creative Cloud, but I wanna show you some other ones that are really, really great and give you my recommendations. So first up, we have Affinity Designer. And the cool thing about Infinity is that it's really cheap and they currently have a 50% off sale, which is really cool. None of these guys are sponsoring this video, so I'm just giving you my thoughts and opinions. So we've got Affinity Designer. It's really great. It's a cheaper option. And it basically does everything that Adobe Illustrator and Photoshop does. And you can see you can, you know, customize your keyboards. They've got artboards. Um, you can play around with vectors, which is really, really cool. And the other thing as well is that they have um, a, a compatible version with iPads. So if, you, if you're a person that loves sketching on iPads and doing illustrations, then this is the go-to platform. So that's a feed designer. Number two would be Figma. Now Figma is primarily a UI and UX tool. So people use it to collaborate with either the design teams uh, on remotely or with clients. And the cool thing with Figma is that you can actually create shapes and graphics and you know glass morphism effects, which is really nice. But overall, it has a clean design, great for collaboration, great for UI, coming up with website designs and apps. And I feel like that's its strong points, but definitely check out Figma. It is um, decent and it's roughly comes in at $12 a month. Whereas Affinity Designer is about uh, $50 or $80 just for to buy it once. The next one is Vector Nada. So this is actually a free app that you can get on the uh, App Store and it's really intuitive it's a nice piece of software it's got a really clean ui layout when you're designing you can see it's even rated by disney and microsoft um the app of the day but it's got a lot of good reviews even my friend will patterson even uses this uh he, lo he loves using this but you can see here i'm um, very flexible you can play with you know guides typography different types of styles it's really good if you're like into hand lettering or illustration that's where the strong part of this will be and obviously you need an iPad or probably a Samsung tablet or something like that. So this is free. I, I'm not sure if there's a pro version. I think that's probably paid. I'm not sure how much that is, but those are those top three picks. And these are mainly for vector programs. They're not really photo editing. And then we're gonna go on to the main vector program that I use is Illustrator. I'm not gonna talk too much about it because you've probably heard it many times. Now, Creative Cloud comes in at $70. I'm currently playing $30 somehow because of discounts and stuff like that. If you're a student, you'll end up be paying $20 a month. You get all the programs. And that's why I like Adobe because you know you get everything um, that you need. It's also consistent and it's always being updated and, and it's just the industry standard. When you get a job, this is what they use. The next one is Adobe XD. So this is from Adobe as well. This is an amazing program for UI, design apps, websites. You can do those things in Photoshop and Illustrator, but this is where the future is primarily in this program here. So definitely check out Adobe XD if you're gonna focus on product design and apps um, because this is gonna be your go-to. Now we're gonna move on to sort of the raster program. So those are like vector programs, which is like, you know, what a vector is. You can scale things and make shapes and it's not gonna get distorted. Whereas raster is all about creating pixelated and um, images that uses pixels. So Photoshop is my go-to or my photo manipulation um, you know, I create some designs, texturing, heaps of different stuff in there, uh, but mainly use it for like photo retouching and stuff like that. So that's Photoshop. The equivalent is Affinity Photo. So instead of calling it designer, they called it photo. So creative, I know, but um, same price. It's like $80, just no subscription, just buy it once. It's basically very similar to Photoshop in terms of the features. So, you know, clean layout, um, it's got layers, it's got um, raw development, so you can actually use like sort of camera filter data um, to customize the look and feel and color grade and all those retouching things. So you can check them out um, at their website. You can see the prices down there. Both works for Mac and Windows, and that's why I think it's a suitable program. Then next, what we have is Coral Draw. Now Coral Draw have a suite, sort of like Adobe Creative Cloud. Um, their price is very in the, similar in the range. So it's $45 a month, um, Australian dollars. So it might be a little bit different wherever you are, but they have lots of different features. So really great for design, 
for vector artwork, packaging, illustration. Basically, you can create anything. It's basically another version of Photoshop and Illustrator, right? So this is what, um, I've never really used it, but I know a few people that use it. Uh, they have, you know, updated over the years. So you can see, you know, they've got progressive image editing now, which is amazing. So definitely check out Coral, Go uh, Coral Draw. It's a, you know, decent program. Definitely check it out if you want more of a budget option. Ultimate cheap option, which is a free um, version. It's basically called Photo P. Now this is basically Photoshop and you can see it's in your browser. You don't have to download anything. You literally just start playing with it. Um, it's in your browser, it's called Photo P. And you know, obviously some of the menus, it's not the best, but you can play around. You can even open files as you can see here. Um, I probably wouldn't recommend this unless you're very into the low budget stuff, but that's an option that you have. Other programs is Canva. So Canva Pro, this is gonna set you back to $13 a month. They also do have a free version, but Canva is sort of like uh, everyone's design program, like the, the average person. Um, so even people who are not designers even use this, right? So obviously I'm on the Canva Pro page. So if I go to canva.com, but you can see here, it's got templates, it's got images, fonts, so many different things, you know, colors and graphics and, and things, but it really shines in the essence of like templated um, designs and just keeping things very simple for people because it's mainly for non-designers. So this is something, um, a cheap option, but it's, it's, then I would also mention PicMonkey. The, these guys as well have something, they cost about $15 a month, I think. Um, very similar. You can do photo editing. You can do, um, you know, a bit of design stuff for social media. So just basic social media graphics, adding fonts and you know, textures and brushes and all that stuff. So this is a very simple version though. It's kind of limited in its features. So I would be wary of this option. This is not a free option, even though you can sign up for free. Um, they've got pricing here. So if I go to pricing, it's nine dollars a month for Sketch. Now Sketch is only works on Mac OS. So keep that in mind, it's basically like XD and Figma, very similar. It's all about product design. It's all about designing for apps and websites, as you can see here. But the, the layout is very beautiful. It's very lovely to work with. And I didn't have a Mac personally. I'm a PC boy, so I'm not gonna be, I haven't used it before or I'm not gonna use it. I'd probably just use XD or Figma as my go-to choices. So Sketch is the last one. So those are my recommendations. I recommend you know getting the best option for you if you're a student and you don't have much money go for the cheaper option like affinity designer if you're someone who has a bit more money coming in from some client work then definitely invest in adobe creative cloud because that's going to be more consistent and the quality is going to be a lot higher um, especially if you work in an agency you're going to be using that so those are my top picks for graphic design software that you can use in 2021 choose wisely use the best for you and you're going to have a good good time so Thanks so much for watching guys. I really appreciate you. Remember to hit the subscribe button because I do post amazing videos every week. And I've also got a new mic as you can see here, which I'm using and hopefully it sounds good. If it doesn't, then I've got to fix it. <laughs> but anyway, thanks so much for watching. Also smash the like button because it helps the video for the YouTube algorithm. I will talk to you next time and catch ya.